What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well and thanks so much for tuning in. Recently we posted up a video about pad maintenance and how to clean your pads as well as when to use which kind of pad. And you guys asked a lot of questions, which is great. So today we're gonna go over some of the questions you guys may have had so we can clear up a few things. Now our first question is going to be the polishes that we have hanging on the wall behind us here. And we're gonna go over what they are and what we use them for. We'll start over here with all of our dual actions with our Torque X, our Torque 10FX, the Torque 15DA, as well as the Torque 22, and then we also have our Torque R. We like to use our smaller machines such as the Torque X and the Torque 10FX for using on your general purpose vehicles or your general purpose jobs where you're just kind of learning how to polish or you're honing your skills or when you're working in really small areas. This will remove any kind of scratches and swirls will also be very forgiving for those of you guys that are new to polishing. We're not going to damage the finish. And then when you're working on larger vehicles or larger surfaces such as trucks or buses or trailers or boats, use something like the Torque 15 DA or the Torque 22. The 15 has a 15 millimeter throw and the 22 has a 21 millimeter throw, which means it's gonna cover a lot more surface area, but still giving the benefit of being a dual action so it's not gonna create a hot spot. It'll just gently remove any kind of imperfections in the clear coat while restoring that shine. And then lastly, we have our Torque R, which is a rotary polisher, which means it only oscillates or it only spins in one direction. And this creates a lot of heat, but the benefit of this is it cuts and corrects very quickly. So once you've kind of gotten up in your detailing uh, skills, this is going to be a great tool to quickly remove any kind of imperfections while also giving you a professional result. So our next question deals with pad size and backing plate size. Some of you guys wanna know if you can use your six inch backing plate with a five inch pad. And we recommend to use the correct size pad and backing plate because you can see the size difference between the backing plate and your pad. You're going to have at least an inch or a half inch of overlap here. And let's say you're working on a contour or a bend or some kind of shape on the vehicle and you end up coming in contact with the backing plate on the vehicle. This is going to burn and damage the paint very quickly and this is something that takes a lot of work to remove if you can remove it without repainting the vehicle. So it's best to use, if you're going to use a six inch backing plate, to use a six inch pad or use the corresponding backing plate and pad combination. This way you don't damage the vehicle. Our next question is a common question that we get here, and that is, do you need to clean your pad during the polishing job, or do you need to swap it out or replace it? What I recommend doing is, once the pad seems like it's not cutting anymore, or maybe it's leaving some kind of pigtail behind, you wanna use your pad cleaner in warm water or your pad cleaning brush to remove any of the product as well as any kind of remaining clear coat that's in your pad. And it's perfectly fine to use it while it's still a little bit damp, or if you kind of air spin some of those uh, water molecules out of there, but it's perfectly fine to just continue using that same pad unless you want to swap out to a new pad, this way you're getting the same cut as you did before, but it's just up to your preference. Next, I know a lot of you guys want to know what's the difference or when to use the different kind of backing plates. So here we have two of our Torque 10 effects set up with one, a yellow backing plate, which is more dense, and this is for your flat panels, which is going to give you the right amount of pressure. This way you're consistently removing the same amount of clear coat as you work or refining the same amount of shine. And then on our second Torque 10 effects, we have a red backing plate, which is a flexible urethane material. And this is easy to contour to the body lines or the different kinds of contours and shapes on all kinds of vehicles. This way, as you press, it's not gonna dig in, but it's actually going to work with the shape of the vehicle. This way, as it flexes over the vehicle, you're gonna get that same uniform shine, no matter whether you're working on fenders or any kind of intricate body lines. Now, our next question is dealing with what pad to use or exactly what the coordination of pads are. So over here, we have our pad coordination chart and we'll start off with the yellow which is your heavy cut. This removes those deeper scratches and swirls or heavy oxidation. And then we have our orange textology pad which you can refine any kind of deeper scratches and also this is what I recommend starting with. Then you can also use a green heavy polishing pad which is just in between your white and your orange pad to give you a, a final polish which is still going to give you some minor cut. And then you have your white hexologic pad for refining and also using your final polishes. And then lastly, you have your blue, black, and red pads, which are for applying your favorite coats of glaze, sealant, or wax, and a very fine coat using your machine polisher. Now our last question for today is going to be, if you use a heavy pad, can you come back with a less aggressive pad and refine any kind of imperfections? And the answer is yes. So let's say you used a combination of V34 with a yellow Hexlogic pad. We recommend changing up your combination, coming back with an orange Hexlogic pad with V36. And this way you're working your way down to a less aggressive or a less abrasive approach and you're refining that finish to give you the best flawless finish overall. So guys, thanks so much for always dropping your comments down below on those videos and giving us you guys' feedback. We love answering your questions and we look forward to answering more of them. So again, if you have anything you wanna know about, drop your comments down below for future videos. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time.